welcome once again to the FOMO studio and today uh, I want to follow up with the last video I made regarding the C8 Corvette. So the last FOMO news video I made I was talking about the C8 Corvette and how the possibility of Ford um, you know working with GM at some point to help them develop what you know what essentially is being used in the Z06 Corvette, you know, this very exotic dual cam flat plane crank engine. Well, uh, come to find out that was a very controversial video. Uh, a lot of people seemed to like it, and then there was many who seemed to be very upset with with my opinion of the whole thing. I definitely want to touch base on some things people did mention in the comments and uh, kind of follow up with those things. I did do a little bit of extra research and kind of found some interesting things. So one of the big things people have been saying to me is, are you forgetting about Cadillac? And I'm like, what about Cadillac? Yeah, Cadillac is the luxury arm of GM. What about them? And then everyone's like, the Blackwing V8, the Blackwing V8. And I'm like, what is the Blackwing V8? And then I looked it up, I'm like, oh crap! I forgot about this, you know, because it, it was like big news for like a second, and then it, well, obviously it met its demise because it never happened, really. You know, so it was like this big thing that was talked about, and you know, forgive me that I'm not on the top of the uh, automotive news world here. That's not what I'm trying to do. Um, but I do remember seeing stuff about that, and I'm like, oh man. So I did do my research into it, and what I found was very interesting. The part that I was really, really kind of blown away by is how similar this engine is to a Coyote. Oh, stay with me. Stay with me. Let me just show you something. Okay, so here I have it pulled up. We have a 5 liter Coyote, right? Look, it's, uh, look at its uh, firing order. The Coyote's firing order is right here, 15486372. Okay, now pay attention to those middle ones, the 8, 6, and 3. Now let's go to the Cadillac engine. Firing order, 15386872. So the only difference is these cylinders here are fired in reverse. On the Coyote, it's 863. On the Cadillac is 368. So it's got an almost identical firing order. None of the other GM engines have this firing order whatsoever. Not to mention, let's take a peek at the uh, the dimensions here. So we have our cylinder bore at 86 millimeters and our piston stroke at 90.2. I mean, 86 millimeter bore is tiny. It is a tiny little bore in this engine. And uh, all the other GM engines out there, even the smallest of the LS, has a cylinder bore of 96. And that just shows you how different this is from anything GM has ever done. So most of their stuff is huge bores, you know, because they're like six liters and, and on up. And, you know, generally that's what most of it is and, and the pushrod stuff. So this is not like anything they've ever really did. So let's go back to... Let's go back to this. So we have our piston stroke as at 90.2 millimeters. Okay, that's not uncommon in, in the grand scheme of things. It's it's pretty common uh, stroke size. Now let's go over to another page here that I have with uh, the Ford, just the modular engines, the 4.6. Let's take a look at something here. Look at the 4.6 and how its dimensions are. 4.6 is a very squared engine, if you didn't know. So we have our cylinder bore at uh, 90.2 millimeters and our piston stroke at 90. That is very similar to the piston stroke on the Cadillac engine. Now, of course, the, the bore in the, in the Cadillac, the Blackwing V, is, is small. It's 4 millimeters smaller than the Ford 4.6, but if you take the 4.6 and, and shorten its bore, if you shrink its bore down, then you get this displacement of the Blackwing V8 because that's pretty much identical. The difference is this has smaller bore. 
And while, well, you know, generally with a smaller bore, you probably get a, you know, the block smaller, you could package things a little bit tighter. So that's likely the reason for that, but that's pretty much identical to a Ford uh, modular engine in, in its dimensions. Um, it, uh, you know, firing order is almost identical. It's pretty crazy to see these similarities between the two engines. Um, you know, it's not something that uh, I thought I would see uh, in a GM engine. And I just thought it was pretty interesting. And while it doesn't really give my last video much reinforcement, um, it does kind of make you wonder. This is almost for technology. And yet it's in this Cadillac V8 that they didn't even want to share with their own um, subsidiaries. So it's crazy that, you know, they were able to design this engine, but out of no help from any other manufacturer, yet it's almost identical to Ford's um, Hallmark engine, which has been around since, what, 2011? The Coyote. Coyote has made a name for itself pretty much since day one. Um, and I just find that very interesting. So it seems to be, in the grand scheme of things, what has happened here is Cadillac has created the first Ford EcoBoost V8. <laughs> you know, they created something that Ford enthusiasts have been wanting for uh, basically since Ford came out with the first EcoBoost engine. Well, at least the 3.5. You know, when the 3.5 came out and they started putting the trucks and everyone's like, why can't you just do a twin turbo V8 EcoBoost? Or just go ask Cadillac, because apparently they did it. You know, it's, I just think that's hilarious how similar that is. You know, and if you kind of just think back into it a little bit more, um, you know, they've been working on that engine for some time now, apparently. And this is the weird part, is that they only have, like, 20-some million in R&D. And for an engine that um, is you know, so advanced in terms of what they're normally used to doing. I find that pretty amazing that they were able to produce that, um, do the R&D and all that for like 20 of like 28 million, I think. I don't know, something like that. I just find that crazy to think that without any help from any other company, they were able to do it that cheap. I mean, it's just, it's, crazy you know it's, it's just very similar to like a lot of the high-end v8s you see like amg and and all that you know it's like this hand-built v8 kind of reminds me of the you know um four valve four six and the cobras you know they were all hand-built and stuff and i think the same thing is with the uh um, gt500 and all that they were all like hand-built or something like that but um it just, uh, it's, it's cool you know it's, it's cool to see such a similar engine but yet not where we would probably want to see it, you know? So yeah, thank you for those people who commented in that last video and reminded me about this Blackwing V8, you know? I would have never really guessed, but so apparently that's where a lot of the technology is coming from for the C8 Corvette's engine is from the Blackwing V8. Which I could see that, the architecture's there, you know? Um, but then again, I don't know why they just don't, you know what, I mean, look, we all know GM is like, they, they can make some cool cars, but they are horrible at being a business. They have just, I don't even know a company that can waste more money than they can. Um, it's like they do all this cool stuff, and it's like, oh, yeah, well, I guess we're not going to do it now. And then just go try to, you know, profit off of just crazy stuff. You know, I just don't get why they would put all that money into that engine and just scrap it like that. It doesn't make any sense to me, but hey. I guess that's why GMs needed uh, some financial help over the years. So um, some things just don't change, I suppose. Now this video is probably going to really ruffle the feathers of both the Ford and GM enthusiasts. Um, you know, because I think I'm going to name this uh, the video kind of like, you know, the Blackwing V8, the Ford V8 EcoBoost or the EcoBoost V8 we didn't get or something, you know, because this is crazy, man. Um, just let me know what you think about this one, you know. Is this, what, what do you think? Why, why do you think they're so similar? You know, why do you think this engine is so much more forward than anything they've ever done? If you don't, as long as you don't go into the rabbit holes, you know, of all the, how the LS engines basically copied a Ford small block, because 
that would just get a whole bunch of people riled up. We don't want to do that. But uh, we're talking about this Cadillac engine and the Coyote. What do you think? Leave your suggestions in the comments and uh, we'll have another discussion. Maybe I can do a little bit more research and dig into this uh, theory a bit more. Maybe, maybe somewhere along the line there was some help between the two manufacturers. Um, and maybe there was some information exchanged um, that GM held on to. I don't know. You know, they've been working together for a long time, so it's possible. We'll see. So that will be it for this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and if you want to see more content like this, then go ahead, subscribe to the channel, and keep a lookout for that next video.